If you're a member of the Star vs. the Forces of Evil fandom, it's incredibly likely that you've had at least one friend lose interest in the show during Season 3. Well, it certainly happened to me. On the Star vs. Amino, a staggering amount of my friends are beginning to lose interest, but why is this so? Honestly, while all of the current shipping drama is annoying, I don't think that it's stopping new fans from enjoying the show. A lot of new fans eat up the Kelko and Tom Star vs. Starko drama, but people who have been watching the show for a long time are more likely to realize how frustrating it can be to invest so much time into shipping Starko just for the show to tease us with a scrap of meat like we're dogs or something. For the people who don't care a lot about shipping, the season feels kind of empty with a lot less plot and a lot more... When we asked members of the Star vs. the Forces of Evil why they think that people are losing interest in the show, user Warnicorn told us that they've noticed that the characters and plot lack a great deal of development. This point is incredibly true. Let's summarize the events leading up to Kelko being one of the leading ships of the show now. We meet Kelly in Season 2. She's a tree-looking girl who likes goblin dogs. Her ex-boyfriend used to live on her head. She's also seen briefly fighting with a sword in Star Crushed. Then in Lava Lake Beach, Marco and Kelly crush on each other. So she went from being a side character we hardly ever see to a love interest for one of the main characters out of nowhere. Where was the development? There's virtually no character development anymore, and one of the best parts of the show was watching Star and Marco develop as characters. In this season, their development can be summarized by saying, Star doesn't like Marco anymore, Star likes Tom now, and Marco has a crush on Star now, Marco also has a crush on Kelly. In Season 2, you can see Star maturing from being childish to being sympathetic and emotional. In Season 3, she's legitimately either a huge dirk to Marco or a pain for the rest of the characters. While this isn't true for everyone, so far Eclipsa has been incredibly anticlimactic. She was built up to be dangerous and evil, but when she was finally released from her crystal prison, she was extremely nice. While she was anticlimactic so far, her storyline seems to be what's keeping fans invested in the show. One of the biggest reasons why people are turning away from the show is one which I never see people talk about. Sometimes, when a story arc ends in a show, you might not feel the drive to watch the show anymore. This is especially true for arcs which end anticlimactically. Toffee's arc was what brought people into the show. It's what gave an otherwise plotless show an engaging storyline. Unfortunately, in the battle for Muni, that all ended. Two seasons of development was all ended in a few seconds by a plot convenience. All of the energy that some people put into the show ended with Toffee's death because that's what they were interested in. So no matter what the quality of the show is now, some old fans might struggle to care about the plot of the post-Toffee seasons. The sad truth is, no matter what happens with the series, there's always going to be people leaving the community. It's inevitable. But for now, we should hope for the best and enjoy the show for what it is. The new arc is bringing in new viewers, so while interest in the show is dying for old fans, new ones are bound to discover the show and fall in love with it, just like the old fans did. Thanks for watching.